In this video, we're going to be discussing how to calculate expected value, variance, and standard deviation with a worked example. So let's go ahead and dive in. So a marketing agency has developed its vacation packages to promote a timeshare plan at a new resort. It estimates that 20% of its customers will choose the weekend plan, which includes two nights of overnight accommodation. 40% will choose the long weekend plan, which includes four nights at the resort and 40% will choose the week plan, which includes seven, night at, seven nights at the resort. So we're first asked to calculate the expected value of the number of nights potential customers will need. So let's start. And what we have here is we're gonna calculate the expected value of our number of nights, which is equal to, just remembering the equation for expected value, the sum of the observed probabilities of x multiplied by their corresponding probabilities. So our first observed value of x for a number of nights is simply two nights, that's the weekend plan. So two nights times the probability that that occurs. Well, we're told that 20% of the customers choose that. So 20% or 0.2 plus the long weekend plan, which is four nights. times the probability that that event occurs, which we're told is 40% of the time, plus the third plan, which is seven nights. And we're told that that occurs also 40% of the time. Now, just as a quick check to make sure we have all our observed values of X, let's just sum up the probabilities here. So we'll just do this kind of in the margin. Probability of x is equal to 0 0.20 plus 0 0.40 plus 0 0.40. Well, this is equal to one. So we are pretty confident that we have all our observed values of x included in our estimation for the number of nights. So 0 0.2 times two is equal to 0 0.4 nights plus four times 0 0.4 is 1.6 nights, plus seven times 0 0.4 gives us 2.8 nights. So to calculate this, we sum it up. So 0 0.4 plus 1.6 is two plus 2.8, so 4.8 nights. So the expected value of the number of nights customers will need is 4.8 nights. From there, we're asked to calculate the standard deviation. So before we even get there, we're going to calculate the variance first. So let's go ahead and calculate the variance. So our variance of nights is equal to just remembering the equation, the observed value of x minus the expected value of x squared times the probability that x occurs. So what do we have? Well, we have two nights, that's the observed value of x minus the expected value of x, which is 4.8 squared times the probability that that occurs, which is 20% of the time. Plus, we have four nights minus the expected number of nights squared times the probability that, that occurs, that occurs 40% of the time, plus seven nights minus the expected value, which is 4.8 squared times the probability that, that occurs, which is again 40% of the time. So we get two minus 4.8, gives us negative 2.8 squared, gives us 7.84 times 0 0.2, plus four minus 4.8, gives us negative 0.8 squared, gives us 0 0.64 times 0 0.40, plus seven minus 4.8 squared, gives us 4.84 times 0 0.40. So 
So 7.84 times 0 0.2 is equal to 1.568 plus 0 0.64 times 0 0.4 0 0.256 plus 4.84 times 0 0.4 gives us 1.936. So now we sum these all up. So 1.936 plus 0 0.256 plus 1.568 gives us 3.76. And we have to remember our units here. We're in nights squared. So now we've calculated our variance and now we need to calculate our standard deviation. So our standard deviation of nights is equal to the square root of the variance of nights which is equal to the square root of 3.76 nights squared. So take the square root of 3.76, and what we arrive at is 1.9391 nights, right? The square root of nights squared is simply equal to nights. So there we have it. We've calculated our standard deviation to be 1.9391 nights. We've calculated our variance to be 3.76 nights squared and we've calculated our expected value to be 4.8 nights. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.